Yo, what's going on guys? So basically in my last video, what was it called? Frick, I really just forgot the video I posted last night. So for my Call of Duty Zombies Rap Battle video, which by the way, you should definitely go watch. It was a hilarious video that all wasn't even meant to happen. By the end of the video for my rap part, I had to get gameplay. And so what I did for gameplay was I went into every World at War map and played first room for five minutes to get gameplay for it. And then I was playing Varuk first room and I was like, damn, this shit hard. So I was wondering all day is like Barack first room even possible and today we will find that out now, I've seen some pretty insane Varrock first rooms before. The people who actually do Varrock first room is like, they're psychopaths, okay? They're like these little 12 year olds who are hopped up on Adderall and just decide, okay, let's go break the Varrock first room record today. The record is different for both sides. There's a record for this side and there's a record for that side. It's actually like super hard no matter which side, but that side is definitely the harder side. Like, what can you do in this tight space? Face. It's like my butthole, but worse. And I think the world record for this side is, I think, round 26. Mistake me if I'm wrong. I'll probably put it up on the screen right now. A long time ago, I was so big into breaking COD zombie world record. This stuff was like my passion. It was like so interesting to me. And it was fun too. I think it's more fun when you have friends to break world records with instead of breaking them by yourself. Yo, where's this? Bitch, last zombie. I literally can't find him at all. Bro, what? What are you doing, dog? Round one, done. You know, I think the goal for this should be either round 10 or round 15, okay? So so we have to buy the Gewer. It's way stronger than the Car 98K, which by the way, I thought the era sock was there, not the Car 98K. Yeah, man, I just miss like the old times of breaking world records with somebody. I really wish I had somebody to do it with because it actually makes zombies fun. It makes a purpose to the game because when you're aimlessly just running around and like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to get to round 30. Oh, cool. I got to round 30. Wow, wow like it's so boring playing zombies but if you have like a mission like to get on that zombies world records leaderboard man it turns cod zombies into a whole different game and like first rooms in call of duty zombies were a thing from the start you know people just be like hey let's see how long we can stay in the first room you know everybody has done that all the time and we literally have another straggler again okay there you are all right round three done you know 20 more to go. We're going to beat the world record in this video. Mark my words. Mark my words. We're, we're beating it. It's it's so easy, bro. Whoever, like, man, people are so bad at this game. Like, I'm the best zombies player. I really wish I had an Xbox controller sometimes because I actually do have an Xbox controller, but it's broken. Like, I don't know what happened to it at all. It just broke randomly. And um, it's a rock candy pink Xbox controller. You know, you already know it's pink. I bought it back in 2017 after I got my Alienware computer. And you know, I've, I've been obsessed with the color pink ever since the cherry fizz camo came out for black ops 3 and I've, I've always loved it oh god that's a lot of zombies in one window three zombies one window <laughs> that should be a porn bro what is up with these zombies they're all the way back there why did what was treyarch's great idea of putting spawns all the way back there like i don't get it so something i was super happy about today was uh, i think about like four days ago i ordered a hundred dollars worth of stuff for my n64 and if you guys don't know, I got an N64 for my birthday, which was so incredible. My favorite console ever. I ended up having to sell my old one so I could buy my computer. So I was able to make videos a long time ago. But man, do I love the N64. So I bought three games. I bought uh, Tigger's Honey Hunt, Super Mario 64, and uh, what was it? What was it? Mario Kart 64, which are like some of my favorite games. And I, of course, plan to buy more. Oh, oh, I thought I saw a zombie break out of the window. Oh, crap. Oh, they're out. They're out. The fish is out of the sock. The fish is out of the sock. Another reason why I'm doing this video is because it's kind of easy to record. And I don't know when the next time I'm able to, uh, 
make a video in the next week i'm recording another video tomorrow right now it's currently monday i just have so much on my plate right now oh my god they're starting to break out and this guilt my aim is so bad on world at war because there's no like percentages oh god oh god they're out of the poop sock they're out of the poop sock oh god oh okay i gotta get out oh man i'm dead i'm dead shmeet Oh, oh man, they're everywhere. This feels like, uh, oh, what, what freaking World at War intro it is where it's like, oh, they're coming from all sides. It reminds me of that. All right, I got to get all these windows barricaded real quick. Oh my God. Can we even make it to round 10? That's the real question. I got some food cooking up right now and I'm so excited to eat it. The reason why I bought Tigger's Honey Hunt is because I remember, I don't know if you guys remember the console called the VTech, but it was like a really old thing that was like, I don't even know, like, yeah it was called a console and it was for like kid games and i remember playing this winnie the pooh game and like i grew up i love winnie the pooh because winnie the pooh is awesome i don't care what anybody says and yeah i'm 18 years old and i still have all my stuffed cow animals you know i'm a savage i know oh god they're breaking out oh man what am i gonna do oh shit shit penis oh Oh, the jukes! Oh, the jukes! All right, let me reload. Please, please. <sighs> and also, I started um investing into my home gym that I eventually want to get built, right? And I bought the first two things um about a few days ago too. I bought two sets of mini lights and monster mini bands. Is this the oh M1 Grand? Oh, the M1 Grand's on the side. Better than the oh shit, never mind. I'm so bad. I might as well kill these zombies quickly. And I'm so excited. Everything is going to be bought by the end of May. And everything's going to be in there by June. And I'm just so excited for it because I've always wanted like an actual home gym. And yeah, it's just so cool to have a home gym. And like, it's something that would really improve your life having a home gym. Just because like, I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm somebody who I like to go work out for fun. There, you can have some like serious workouts. You can have some like for fun workouts and you can like, you can invest invite friends over and just pump some iron and listen to tunes uh together and that's just something i want so much because i don't know when i feel like when you get older it's just video games aren't all there is in life you know i want to do like and i don't want to be a person who like goes out and drinks i'm never going to be that person because alcohol is not is not good for the gains Nuh uh oh god this map i remember when this map had me like shitting my pants i remember the first day of getting my alienware laptop i've never played keyboard and mouse in my life right and like i was like oh i want to play so bad but i don't have my controller i was like should i wait till i get my controller and i was like nah and then so i played keyboard and mouse right i was playing on my it was a laptop and i was playing with a, a terrible dell mouse that was oh it was so awful I was playing this map and I was like so scared. Like my movement was so garbage. Like, like I couldn't move. The only thing I could do was go forward. I had no coordination at all. And I just remember that it was so funny. I even remember camping up at power and just sitting there in a corner the whole time. Cause I was so scared to move during a round. And now that's not the case, but still that's such a good memory for me, man. And I remember the first time entering the mod tool in oh it was so fun maybe i should have done this on black ops one but world at war is like way harder because the zombie the i don't know if you guys know about oh god oh god I, oh crap i probably oh you see yeah they're varox sprinters right i was saying they're like scary oh god this is worse than the gear you have to hit nothing but headshots Oh, oh, look at him. Look at him go. Oh, God. I'm so garbage. They call me Mr. St hit, hit no shots. I was thinking if opening that door counted as first room, but I know it doesn't. Oh, what?
Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the video and you want to see like more um like challenges on Call of Duty Zombies, because hey, if there's something I can do and it'll be fun and it'll be easy to make, you know, I'm glad to do it as always. You know, I actually had really a really fun making this video, you know, English 100. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe and turn on notifications because, you know, if you don't turn on notifications, you might as well not be sub to me. Um, anyways, guys, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and peace.